Man, listen to that traffic. It's the middle of the night. You'd think we would get a break from this noise pollution. It's not the noise pollution you should be worried about. It's the greenhouse effect. You know the pollutants and emission gases from the cars and industry amplifying the rays from the sun to make the earth heat up. Then the heat gets trapped in our atmosphere and can't escape. Wow. You haven't heard the real deal, man. That's a bunch of hype and propaganda. That's not the truth about what is really going on. Oh yeah, man? Then tell me what the real deal is. And why should I believe you? Well, let me ask you this. If what you were saying is true, then why is there climactic changes happening on every planet in our solar system? As far as I know, there aren't motor vehicles and factories on the other planets. I... I hadn't thought of that. Yeah, there has to be something else going on then. What do you know? It's called post-glacial rebound effect. What? Post-glacier? What? No, not glacier. Glacial. Post-glacial rebound effect. It is what is changing our world's climate, ecosystems and causing the marked increase in earthquakes, volcanoes, sinkholes and the like, in recent years. It has even stalled the ocean currents that distribute the heat from the warmer climates to the northern areas like the United States and Europe. Talk about greenhouse effect. Man, it's not going to heat up. We're heading to another mini ice age. Well, how does this work? Can you tell me more about it? Well, I will tell you what I know, but it isn't good news, I'm sorry to say. Go on man, I'm listening. Well, the hole in the ozone layer, that part is true. But it is worse than their tailing. A lot worse. Is that the reason why the Arctic areas are melting then? Huh? That is only part of it. The hole in the ozone layer does allow the heat from the sun to come through, being that our shield is down where the ozone is not present. But, the real reason the glaciers are melting is because of all the radioactive fallout from bomb testing and nuclear accidents. These particles eventually find their way to the polar regions and get deposited into the snow. They heat up and melt the glacier ice which cracks off and large chunks of ice fall into the ocean. And, gah, it is such a mess. No, don't stop. Please continue on. Well all that cold fresh water is added to the warmer salt water in the North Atlantic Ocean and affects the plankton, the fish and mammals in the sea. This disrupts their food supply, their breeding habits and ability to survive the changes to their habitat. They are used to warmer, saltier oceans. So this is the reason for all the fish and sea mammals dying off? Yeah. Along with the addition of all the nuclear fallout which also gets deposited when the ice melts. The cold fresh water is what is also affecting the ocean currents which is the main reason why the world's climate is changing. So that's it? That's the post-glacial rebound effect. Oh no dude. That's just the beginning. There's more to it. There's a lot more. Really? Yeah. With the addition of all that weight added by the massive amount of water and weight created from the melted ice, it adds unbelievable pressure on the sea floor, which happens to be most of the thinnest parts of the Earth's crust. Where there is a reaction, there is also an equal and opposite reaction. So what does that do? Well, it pushes down on the floor bed where many fault lines are, which increase tectonic pressure causing an increase in earthquakes. It affects magma flow under the crust increase in volcanic activity. When the floor bed is pushed down, the coastlines are pushed under the water. So the islands are sinking. As the coastlines are pushed down, the middle parts of the larger land bodies get pushed up which affects fault lines and volcanic areas there. And... And... And what? There's even more? Yeah man. If this wasn't enough, there's more. Water is fluid and it is subjected to centrifugal force and gravitational pull. As the Earth spins on its axis, the water pulls at the equator. The Earth isn't round anymore. It is beginning to bulge in the middle, which affects the speed of the planet's rotation and is causing friction between the speed of the core and the upper crust of the Earth. We have practically destroyed the planet. I, I don't know what to say. This is awful. What can we do? People need to know about this. Oh, I firmly agree. Everyone who knows these truths need to get the word out. Discuss this with friends and family. 
share videos, explain and post glacial rebound effects with them and all the social sites on the web that you utilize. And, lastly and most important, go to Believers Underground on YouTube where Scott, also known as Bug, has been talking about all his scientific research and information on this subject for years. The link is below in the description box. Terrible earth changes and cataclysmic events are coming, and we need to be aware to be prepared. Information is shock resistance. Love you guys.